Hey, what's up? What's up? Yo, yo, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. I wanted to just share something real quick, you know, about, um, you know, current affairs. We should always be involved with current affairs. None of us too big to learn something new every day. But, yo, um, I can't help but to see uh, things on social media and a lot of friends that I have on here in so many different avenues. And um, even though I'm not really involved in a lot of stuff, uh, I still pay attention to it because it's part of the world. But if you look in um, rap history, you know, I've, I've been around 40-something years, so I, I kind of know um, rap history as living it. But um, we got a situation going on out there. For those who don't know, we got a legend, a living legend, you know, in KRS-One and another dude named Africa Bambada. Well, there's a lot of stuff going on about Africa Bambada. Um, a lot of uh, claims that he's been molesting a lot of rap kids throughout the history of, um, you know, uh, his group called Zulu Nation. Um, nevertheless, um, I think um, people taking this case the, the bad way and they're criticizing a lot of people like KRS-One is being criticized for not defending um, um, or not uh, prosecuting or going against Africa Bambada the way that the media wants him to uh go against them so uh, I'm, this is this video is not in defense of anyone I just want to shine a light from a uh, perspective um, a, a religious perspective that I see it from um, I think that you know um, people um, are jumping on KRS-1 um, by saying that he's because he said that he don't care um, about what Africa Bambada is doing personally. Um, even though this personally, Africa Bambada is, um, there's claims that he's been molesting people and substantial claims and claims that have been proven so over and over again. So Africa Bambada is pretty much on his way down, especially in the media, and he's, he's being buried uh, slowly but surely. But um, back again to the perspective of religious point of view, you know, um, um, and the way that people, the, the reason I'm making this video is because a lot of people jumping on KRS-One, but I think KRS-One, beca simply because he says he don't care, it's not affecting hip-hop, it's not whatever, he's trying to separate hip-hop history from what Africa Bambada may have done or maybe still doing or his character and I kind of agree with um, KRS-One I kind of understand him anyway um, I think the people in general public I see a lot on the, um, on the timeline or people who making comments they're jumping on KRS-One really bad right now and saying that he's defending a pedophile and you know all of this history KRS-One got so they criticizing him and claiming that he was a fake you know, because if you know KRS-One, he's been a, always trying to sound like a scholar or someone who's trying to help black people in particular, especially the people in the hip-hop industry and the culture. So, um, you know, what I'm saying is that KRS-One, I understand him. And I think that you can bury African Bambada and any pedophile worse you can make you can make it worse for him if you give him the benefit of the doubt and i think that's what Karis wanted wanted to do Karis one is not um jumping on um africa bambada but he's saying that it's hard it, whatever he do is his business and he's going to pay for it you know he's kind of putting it in the hands of god and that's what we forgot to do nowadays we don't put um criminals in the hands of God anymore. We want to punish them ourselves. We want instant drag gratification without believing in the decree of God and how his punishment and his wrath and his mercy is real. But sometimes we got to be patient. And KRS-One is basically giving them the benefit of doubt and going to let 
Africa Bambada bury herself. And I can respect that. It's not like um, people are actively stopping um, Africa Bambada. He's already been stopped. He's already not on that platform again. It's, it's all over the world that he's um, known for being a um, pedophile or, 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 or evil person. So it's been, it's been exposed. So now with KRS-One, from what I see KRS-One is doing, is give him the benefit of the doubt until it, you know, um, until the wrath come down on him. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times we want to put everything in, um, you know, our power and want to, um, in the, in the, even the court. The court doesn't have the last say in our, um, the way we feel in, in popular opinion don't have the last say. The last say is with God. And I can respect Karis one for doing that. That was a brave thing to do because it sounds like Karis one is actually scared to um, criticize Africa Bambada, but he's not. If you really listen to what he was saying, Karis one is saying, look, if he did what he did, he that's his business, and he gonna pay for it. It's gonna it's gonna come to him. Um, it's nothing Karis one can really say, you know, other than um, you know. He could have clarified himself and say, look, I'm not part of it. And, you know, but he didn't do that. But he did say that, look, he going to get his, basically. Whatever he did is what he did. And, um, you know, he's not saying that it's right or wrong. And I can respect that. And I think that um, that's one thing we need to do as a people. We need to um, start giving each other the benefit of the doubt for the good and the bad because, it's all good when you give people the benefit of the doubt. If they're bad, they're going to be extra punished. If they're good, they're going to be um, um, successful. That's that's the benefit of giving people the benefit of the doubt. So I just wanted to say that about KRS One. You know, I can't because I, I, I hear a lot of people jumping on them, and I, I think it's a little um, it's a little um, hypocritical. You know, because he's not. It's not like he's saying, you know, uh, whatever he did, you know, uh, I got his back. That's not what he said. He said whatever he did, he gonna pay for. It. That's gonna that's that's him. You know what I'm saying? That's, if he's stupid enough to do something like that, you know, um, you know, he's not saying that he had anything to do with it. You know, but it, everybody get paid what they supposed to get paid. Nobody's getting away with nothing, and that's a strong belief that. I see. That's a strong characteristic that KRS One has. So I think he's getting the bad end of the stick right now, and his legacy is being ruined. And um, you know, it is what it is. He he just trying to separate hip hop, his experience of life, with um, a, a, a wrong that somebody did that was very influential in the rap industry. You know, just because America. Um, has a bad president don't mean that all of America is bad. You um, got people that don't want to come to America. They don't give America the benefit of the doubt. But when you come here, you'll realize it's all not all that bad. So, um, KRS One, you know, people need to halt on um, trying to bash them and bring them down. You know, another day, another opportunity. You know, um, you know that's that's one thing religion teach you, you know, um, that, you know, the, 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 the um, I, you know, I can understand people criticizing them because religion teaches us that, you know, first, you know, the people who stand around and allow stuff to happen, um, when they see harm, you got to stop it. You know what I mean? If you can't stop it with your mouth, you can't stop it with your hands, the least you could do is to hate it. You know? Stay away from it and show hatred. You know, KRS one showed hatred. You know? He couldn't stop it with his mouth. He couldn't start talking about Africa Bambada because, you know, public public is, is crucial, man. Whether something right or wrong, the media don't care. The media cares about making dollars so they're going if he start criticizing whether negative or positive he may put himself in a in in, in, in a critical situation so you know 
he can't stop it with his mouth. You know, he can't go put his hands on um, Africa Bambaataa. You know, so he's trying to show people that, you know, it's not right, but, you know, let him do what he do. He'll get his. Because, obviously, you know, it ain't just him. You know, it's like if we criticize the American government on one aspect of it, we can't we can't expect support from the rest of the government because that means the whole government got to be shut down. If you if you criticize um, one aspect of a, a, a whole disease, we want to we gotta you you gonna end up bringing the whole disease down, the whole body gonna fall. So if we want this body to fall, I think KRS was handling it the right way, being patient and letting God like he did all these years. It took, you know, it's it's gonna it's gonna slowly fall down. And people are gonna be criminalized that we didn't even expect, and probably the same people who criticized and Karis one was probably part of the um, um, part of the evil evil plotting and the whole thing anyway. So you know that's just my opinion, man. But um, I had to get that out there, just a positive. I don't care if anybody feedback or not, but I, I would respect you if you listen to my point. You got something to say? You believe or you don't? Let me know. If not, you know, um, share it with somebody else, man. Just teach one, each one. Each one, teach one. Peace. Much love.